Three years ago, I used to have a bad habit of getting into car accidents all the time. I've totaled two cars in my lifetime, and I've had other accidents that didn't total cars. Uh, but I had a bad experience uh, a little over a year and a half ago. Uh, a friend of mine that I had known since kindergarten, he passed away. He had drug problems, and the reason he got involved in drugs was because he uh, had a accident while playing basketball and had taken painkillers and long story short uh, it had gone downhill and it made me worry for myself because I know I have some uh, uh, addictive personalities I used to well, I still have food addiction problems uh, I have a lot of problems with addiction to activities especially uh, I, I um, for a time I, I had it I, I used a lot of caffeine uh, I was using more than enough to kill most people. I had built up a tolerance to it, but on a typical day when I was very addicted to caffeine, I was using more than enough to kill a person on average. And uh, I know that uh, if I ever touch painkillers, it, it's game over. I often joke that if I'm in so much pain, I might as well take a gun because it might it might be it might have the same effect as if I took my first dose of uh, painkillers. Uh, that, that's how that's how much of a addictive personality I have, and so it really gives me pause that maybe I should uh, d d ease down on how I drive, and um, it it just goes to show we all have to have uh, something to motivate ourselves. You know, the idea of uh, getting killed in a car accident that didn't seem to bother me so much, uh, but being hooked on drugs to the point where life isn't worth living and you know I can't hold a relationship or uh, my career suffers that really bothers me. Dying not so much. Uh, I kind of joked in my last video I had two places that I uh, visited in recent years that I want to have my ashes scattered uh, when I die. I I'm still debating which one uh, it will be. It might be half and half, but there are two places in the world that I really love so much that after I die, I do want my ashes scattered there. Well, actually, a third place, but I don't know if technology will catch up to that. And uh, so, um, it doesn't seem to bother me so much. Uh, the idea of losing my cars, eh, you see, when I lost my Honda Accord of three years ago, I, I, you know, I, I was living in it, and I had ended up having to move into an apartment, and I ended up walking a lot of places, and I ended up meeting a lot of people while doing those walks. You know, that doesn't seem to bother me so, so much. Yeah, I hate losing the car when I lose it, but it's always brought me a lot of joy in other ways. Uh, but my friend, see, I still remember when I was in eighth grade with my classmate, uh, who had passed away. He, uh, we, we used to, uh, uh, I, I used to play little tricks on him, and it used to annoy the fuck out of him. Uh, he uh, had uh, he had won some kind of award at school, and they were going to announce his name during uh, the prime time during the morning uh, uh, homeroom class. And uh, I, I didn't want him to get all the glory from it, so I had brought a universal remote control from home, and I had programmed it to the TV at school, and, and uh, in our desk, we had a little hole right behind the, the desk, uh, basically to allow the tray to pull in and out, and I pointed the remote through that hole, and just before they were going to announce the awards for, I think he was in uh, band, uh, just before they would announce it, I turned off the TV, and uh, he didn't know what had happened. Uh, we got the TV back on, but it was after they had already announced his name, and he was so upset. It wasn't until weeks later that I confessed to him what I had done, and uh, I kind of regret doing that now that he has passed away. But at the time, it was funny, and eventually he got over it. We laughed about it for many years. Um, he, had, he also had a addictive personality. Uh, he had a drinking problem as well. Uh, he got over the drinking, but th then he got injured. He, when he was 17 or 18 years old, uh, he had been drinking at a friend's home, and uh, he had, on his way home, he had uh, stopped to get gas, but he realized he forgot his wallet at his friend's home, so he left the gas station without paying. And uh, long story short, I think he lost his driver's license for some time, but he learned a lesson from that. And he, ha he hadn't touched alcohol for some time, at least not until he got injured. And it just goes to show that uh, uh, everybody has a different motivation. Some people might worry about dying in a car accident. Some people might be worried about being permanently disabled. 
Uh, for me, I'm more worried about my image and the fact that I might mess up my career or my relationships. Some people might worry about hurting some be somebody else and uh, and um, uh, having uh, regrets for the rest of their life. I think I worry about that too. Not so much about the dying though, for some reason. So uh, that's what that's what I found to be helpful uh, for uh, keep, uh, keeping myself safe when I drive the car. Uh, I'm not so much worried about the, 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 the virus that's going around uh, uh, these days. So I think I have a pretty strong immune system. And plus, I like getting a little bit ill and taking it easy for a couple of days. So, three years ago, I had gone on vacation to one of the places I want to be buried when I die, actually. And I had gotten sick and I ended up in the hospital. Obviously, I had language barriers. And so I actually kind of enjoyed taking it easy a little bit. Uh, what was really enjoyable was that the doctor, she was uh, uh, 35, 40 years old, uh, kind of attractive, and she needed to check my uh, rectum, and that was so enjoyable. She didn't realize that in, in my mind I was kind of raping her. She thought that she was just checking my rectum, and that was good. So I like taking it easy. So getting a virus and even end ending up in the ER, eh, doesn't seem to bother me that much. Of course, I also worry about bringing the virus home and getting other people sick. I... I work with uh, people who are don't, don't have nearly as strong an immune system. So that's what's keeping me grounded these last couple of weeks. Thanks for watching.